we are going to get into Kanye West, Mr. West. I put out, it's funny, okay, so I put out, um, this, I think this is one of the first times a video, not like, this is one of the first times I actually got like crazy feedback from a video. When I put out the Kanye talking about Michael Jackson in a positive way, and he was talking about some other things, I forget, but a lot of people had a strong reaction to that Kanye West, Michael Jackson video, and... It was the most feedback I've ever gotten for one video. Like, I think I got, like, at least 20 responses and just messages about how they love the video. Video, And it's crazy because, like, it just makes you, like, think, like, what in that video made that person want to send you a message saying that he loved it or that just going to his whole background and how he's been following this and loves how you're speaking about, um how you broke it down and just stuff like that. Like, it just makes me wonder what in that video was so special. Like what part, you know, but I guess, I mean, I guess you just got to uh, go with the flow. But anyways, I'm back with another Kanye story. And this is, this is not one just because that one blew up, but because Kanye actually inked one of the biggest deals. I think an artist has ever made with a clothing brand. And I don't know if I spoke too soon on that or if I'm misinformed, but Kanye West, for those that don't know what I'm talking about, Kanye West signed a hundred million dollar deal with clothing brand Gap. For those that don't, for those that don't know what Gap is, is a pretty, um, what was a pretty well known clothing brand that a lot of people went to to the shop. But now it needs, let's just say it needs a little bit of help. <laughs> so that's why this deal is so huge as they believe that Kanye can bring the brand back and bring in billions of dollars basically. So it's a ten year deal. Kanye West has to twenty thirty to the year twenty thirty to prove that he can turn this company around. And people are still saying that Gap's out of fashion, but Kanye West will forever be in fashion in my opinion. And him going to Gap will it already rose the the market value of Gap when he made the announcement. I mean, it went back down because you know how the stock works. But he basically he he brought up the market value in Gap just by announcing it. Like nothing, no clothes, no anything. Just by announcing the deal, the ten year deal, and the stock market went up. So. If you want a little bit of advice, I don't really give out stock advice just like publicly, but I would look into investing into Gap because um, it's one of those that's a risky investment, in my opinion, because you never know what Kanye is going to end up doing with Gap. You don't know if it's going to fail or if you don't know if it's going to rejuvenate the brand. But on the other hand, if it rejuvenates, I mean, what's... I mean, what's uh, what do you have to lose, really? Like, for those that invest a lot, you know that sometimes you have to take a risk to get a... The bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. And I don't think this is as tough as a risk as other um, brand investments could be. So, that's, my, that's just my advice. I would look into investing into Gap. But the the reason that this is so big is because Kanye always talk uh, talked about when he was like a teenager I think and he was um fired from Gap so this deal is like life coming back full circle and I think he has like 2% stock uh, ownership in Gap um and and which is huge for just one person like think about that 2% one person um and the bears I think they said that the the bears um, well, I'm reading a post, but I don't really think I don't know what they're talking about with bears. They're just talking about how Gap has been having trouble over the last few years and closing multiple retail shops. So the deal with Kanye makes sense, basically. And a lot of people knew that. I mean, who doesn't want to do clothing? Who doesn't want to let Kanye take over the clothing brand? I mean, Kanye puts out a white T-shirt and with nothing on it and sell it for two hundred dollars. And people buy it like it's just the next thing. Like they buy it like it's gonna cook clean and do everything for you. <laughs> so Kanye definitely has that influence with his audience. Um and there was another article talking about how Kanye 
invest well, not investing Kanye striking a 10 year deal with a gap could be huge if done right which I mean any deal can be huge if done right but they talked about him with the Yeezys when he first signed with Nike they didn't really need his help but then he came out with the Yeezys Yeezys now they sell for as much as 4,000 online for certain like colorways and styles like people who resell Yeezys those are the prices that they resell them for or a certain type of colorways, not just the regular shoes. I mean, imagine regular shoes being 4,000 and that's why he collaborated. That's why he's collaborating with Gap because he can put more affordable clothing items on Gap than he could with Nike or Adidas. I mean, he's with Adidas now, I believe. So. The whole thing with Nike I was talking about, I was I was basically breaking it down with uh, how they had Air Yeezys, but now I believe he's with Adidas. And Gap is going to be like the affordable Yeezy uh, clothing brand ideas. So I think that that's going to turn Gap around tremendously. And the people who talk about how Kanye is pretty crazy, so they don't know how this deal will, will turn out. I think the opposite, like Kanye's crazy so he could make this work and and some more. So I don't know. That's just how I think. Uh, I believe Gap will turn around in the next three to four years because I don't think it'll be a quick turnaround. I believe Gap needs a lot of work to make it a cool brand again because not a lot of people. I don't know anybody that shops at Gap, like just to be honest. I don't know anybody who's ever been like, let's go to Gap. <laughs> Let's go get some clothes or something at Gap. Like, that's just not just not the wave. So, uh, a lot of people don't really believe in this Kanye uh, Gap collaboration, but I'm one of the few who do. <laughs> now, uh, switching it up from Kanye West and the Gap deal, because there's not really too much you can speak on that. Uh, let me know down in the comment section down below or send me a voice message on Anchor. What do you think about that deal? And do you think Kanye can actually turn Gap around? as a clothing brand getting into uh the second part of why i wanted to talk about kanye is that he released a new song called wash us in the blood featuring travis scott now him and travis scott has the relationship because you know i would say because of the kardashians but i think kanye and travis always had their respect artistically for each other so this collab definitely makes sense as it's a clean track because kanye has went totally gospel with a little bit of his modern music mixed in. But basically that means that none of his music will ever have the parental advisory on it ever again. If Kanye sticks to his word. So you know that little parental advisory sticker they put on every album? Kanye shouldn't have that anymore basically is what I'm saying. Uh, because he went totally gospel. Anyways. Kanye is basically like the new Lecrae. And Wash Us In The Blood which you heard at the beginning of this podcast. I played a little bit, a snippet of it, the beginning, and we're going to get a little bit more into it. Uh, we can hear Travis Scott's part on it because Travis Scott, <laughs> it's funny, Kanye making this song. Oh, and another thing, uh, Dr. Dre made this beat. So when you're listening to the beat, don't think of like Kanye West made it. Uh, Dr. Dre made it. So that's why this beat is so good. Uh, I mean, Kanye West makes tremendous beats, but... I mean, we're talking about Dr. Dre. Like, come on now. <laughs> so, Dr. Dre made this beat. Um, Kanye and Dr. Dre are working together on his latest album. So, people are saying that it's like something that you that we've never heard before. But they also said that about Ye, and they also said about that. They also said that about Kiss C Ghost. So, I'm not really believing the hype. I just think Kanye has powerful friends, and they just speak highly on his name. But with this, with this song being so fire, because I love this song, uh, I didn't really love love his last album. The only song, only track I liked off his last album was like "Follow God," but I think this will hit a little bit more experience. I think he's finally getting his footing in the gospel genre. So you know, Travis Scott had to get in on it. <laughs> Kanye gave him like four bars to get in. Like Con Travis Scott had the shortest part ever. That's a three minute and 16 second song and travis scott was like on 10 seconds of it anyways let's play that 10 seconds right now 
<laughs> like that's it. <laughs> that's it. The whole the whole rest of the song and before that is, is all Kanye. I mean Travis Scott got little ad libs leading up to his verse, but after his three and a half bars that he gets off, Kanye cuts it off. <laughs> Kanye comes right back on. So this is definitely Kanye's song. Barely featuring Travis Scott. I don't even know why it says featured Travis Scott. It should just say like you know like when uh Drake said featuring Chris Brown and he had him as like a background singer on his latest uh album full of leaks that song that that's what they he should just deal with this like this you should have just made him a back a background singer and not even gave him a verse because this was like a tease but anyways i think travis scott did his thing with the three with the two and a half verses that he was allowed with so uh uh i think this song overall is like is really i want to say like powerful but like it has a good message you know most songs i like 10 well most songs I repeat, have on repeat, uh, usually have meaning to it and like a deeper meaning. And for this, it's just, I mean, watch this in the blood. I mean, biblical, I mean, you can always uh, search on YouTube what that means, but it's deeper than just what's on the surface. And I like how Kanye is taking the time out to actually take this gospel seriously because he did make Jesus walks. Oh, uh, Jesus walks. And uh, I played that in my first podcast. So if you want to go back and listen to that, actually talked about that in whole in whole is that how you say it? i don't know anyways but here's the second part i liked about the song this is where kanye really got off his bars like uh i don't know who is his ghostwriter i don't know who was in the um where he, where he be making his albums in wyoming i don't know who was in the wyoming basement writing up these lyrics right here but he definitely got off on, on this little uh 10 to 20 second snippet so uh let me play this part this is my favorite part of the song so yeah here we go let's get into it right now and like he really, I like that verse. That verse was nice. He he really caught the he really caught a, a pocket in the in the beat, and he started uh started flowing on the beat like pretty nicely. Like in a way that Kanye hasn't done in a while. You know, like Kanye usually, Kanye's just not a, I don't know what like because Kanye is one of the greatest to ever do like music. So it's it's hard for me to critique him, but basically what I'm trying to say is like Kanye's not the greatest uh lyricist let me just say that <laughs> so for him to take these lyrics and, and and deliver them the way he did in that pocket right there i think was a was a good sign of what's to come because the new album i'm hearing is great and something we've never heard before and hopefully is not like the last two times people were saying that when it was just okay but hopefully it's actually really good so um yeah, that was really uh, all I had for Kanye and, the, and his new song. I mean, it's not really too much you can get into with a three-minute song, but uh, Kanye's uh, a rising, a rising again and, and actually showing life of him being a human being, you know, with some of the moves he was making with certain people. You may, I mean, at, at one point, I thought we was losing him. <laughs> I thought we was losing him, you know, like uh, in GTA when... When you lose your health bar and it says wasted, like I thought, you know, I thought he was wait, I thought he was gone. I thought the screen turned black and white, and he he was gonna be out of the out of out of the main campaign from now on. But it looks like he's resurrected from the hospital. You know, got a little uh, went to ammunition. You know, got a little uh, a little rejuvenation back, and he's back in full Kanye form. So hopefully he keeps that. Hopefully he doesn't do anything crazy to make me think he's back wasted again. But yeah, Kanye's been out uh, doing good for the people and musically, so hopefully he's the, done revived his brand. But yeah, that's all I really have for Kanye, so switching it up, switching it up a little bit. 